Hello, Dave. Hey, Bill. Dave, I've been thinking about our little show, and I have some thoughts. What if I took on more market value? I mean, really let him have it. See, I think people are starting to get fed up with that guy. I'd like to take him down a few notches. What do you think? Bill, who is that man and what the hell is he doing? Oh, Cadbury's my new man, sir. Isn't that right, Cadbury? The master is correct, sir. You hired a butler? Well, I prefer to think of Cadbury as a gentleman's gentleman, right, Cadbury? You are too kind, sir. Your coffee, Mr. McNeil. I trust you will alert me immediately if it is less than satisfactory. Bill, why did you hire a butler? Too hot. <laughs> Dave, when a person reaches a certain level of success in life, he finds he needs a loyal companion. Take Batman, for example. He got very good at fighting crime, so he went out and hired... What was his name, Cadbury? Alfred, sir. Very good. Cadbury's an Oxford man. Uh, well, Bill, we're not living in 19th century England. Well, maybe you're not. And neither was Batman, but plenty of people in 20th century America have had man servants. Mm-hmm. Name one. Well, there's Liberace. <laughs> Uh, that's neither here nor there. Uh, plenty of people, right, Cadbury? Among those of a certain distinction and breeding, keeping a personal valet is de rigueur, sir. Well, uh, fine. Uh, pleasure to meet you, Cadbury. A <laughs> pleasure, Mr. Nelson. Say, while you're here, would you like him to shine your shoes? Mm, no, thank you. Are you sure? Get yeah. you some coffee? No. Clean your desk? No. Do a little dance for no. you? No, no, please. Come on, no. Cadbury, do a little dance. What sort of dancer? I don't know. A boogie dance. Very good, sir. <laughs> yeah. Make it funky, Cadbury. Uh, Phil, we need to talk about the show. <laughs> May I help you, sir? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, Bill. Sir, uh, may I help you? <laughs> yeah, I need to talk to Bill. Allow me to see if the master is in. <laughs> the master is out, sir. Would you care to come later? Bill, we need to talk about the show. Sir, if you'd like to leave a message for Mr. McNeil, I'd be happy to give it to him on his return. Bill. Sir. If you don't leave the premises, I shall call the police. <laughs> Perhaps Master Matthew would enjoy a good romp in the playroom. I'm going to give that a shot. Hey, wait up! Quite amusing, Master Matthew. Let me say something. I can't hear anything under there. Look, if we don't find the car keys, we'll never get home. So keep looking. Well, I was supervising Master Matthew, and it appears they fell out of my pocket. Good oh, morning, mates. It appears as though your keys are forever lost in Davy Jones's locker. Please check for lost items in Petey the Pirate's Lost and Found Treasure Department. It's time for my break. I'll tell you what, Dave, you and Matthew keep looking. Cadbury, come play ski ball for my amusement. Very well, sir. Bill, where's your manly man? He's a gentleman's gentleman. Cadbury's gone. If I was that dude, I would have quit a long time ago. Oh, he didn't quit. Don't you fire him already? No, he woke up early this morning and stole my wallet, my credit cards, my TV, my stereo, my refrigerator, and most of my furniture. Did you call the police? Oh, yes, and I explained the whole story. What'd they say? I believe their exact words were, what kind of a jackass hires a discount butler from a classified ad in a local penny safe? <laughs> then I became verbally abusive and they hung up on me.